Yo, basically this video has got swear words in and it kind of makes sense to leave them in on this because it's a real car bill. So if you don't like swearing, just, just mute it and keep watching. Cheers, bye. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. And uh, today I'm joined by Lewis Noakes, my good friend over here, uh, Finn down there. And we're gonna be doing a lot of Nissan stuff. This could be a two day video. Um, we'll make it one video that could stretch over two days. But quite quickly, run you through what he's doing. Steering rack, fuel pump, Spread roll cage. Done. Let's get started. My steering rack is off the legend that is Freddy, who was breaking an S15. He brought it up to Driftland for me, and then I completely forgot to bring it home with me. So uh, he actually sent it down for me. Super appreciate that. Absolute legend. It looks really good, really nice, really clean. Their kit, so hopefully it won't be a massive job. I think it probably will end up being a massive job. We're going to take the front end of the car apart now real quick, which is just some cable ties, thank God, because it is a drift car. Oh yeah, okay, sweet. And uh, soon it's actually going to be ready to actually go to an event, which is amazing. I am so excited. Yeah, like, like the guys. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy! Look at that, that looks so sick. Oh, Why can't you run your car right there on the back? Because <laughs> look, yeah, Martin, Martin Batty would never map my car again if it was that low. <laughs> he had, he had, didn't he? He had such a moment when it was mapping so it. Yeah, when we were mapping it, Lewis, it was because it was squatting so hard under boost at like about 4,000 RPM. Start to squat, and then the wheels would lift off the rollers. What, start, like, trying to, it would just do a burnout. It just like, Wah! weren't it? It was like literally doing a burnout on the rolling road, and I was like, "Oh, this is so cool." Put some actual stands under it, get the shit off of it, and send it. Let's do this. While Lewis jacks it all up, I'm gonna get the wheels off, and I'm gonna use the faithful old Iron Hell gun, which you can now get 10% off at Wix.com with the code Iron Hell 10. You are welcome, boys, and 3% girls. So we've still got some of drift land underneath here, but Jeep doesn't own it anymore, so that's mine now! So what are we going to do, Lewis? I'm just going to run the inner tie rods and leave everything on there so you don't fuck with your track in. Cool. And then just, yeah, piss. So what do you need from me? Just an adjustable at the moment, and okay. then, uh, I think it's about 14 now, I think? Just so we can start draining this rack. Good luck. How are you getting on down there, boy? <laughs> are you draining the old rack, yeah? Yeah, well, yeah, just... I've just got to try and whip these two lines off and then ready to go. I've only got one more line to get off and it can pretty much come out. Sweet. There we go. I know. I love that. So while we're uh, just down here, we can see some of the other mods we've had done on the car. Geo3s by Driftworks. We run them on the, like, the street setting, not the extreme angle setting. We've got Project Moo uh, pads in there, pretty cool. Um, we've got the old 350Z Brembos, these are all fitted previously. Brand new brake lines all round. Mm. What is that? Oh, is that my indicator? Yeah, that needs hiding in there, I guess. So, because my steering rack's been relocated, it sits really awkwardly in there, doesn't it? Yeah. To get the two bolts out, but what did you have to do to get the, the socket on that? Yeah, like slide it down the subframe and then connect <laughs> it in the subframe just so you can get it on. So, but yeah, it's a... I mean, hopefully it goes back alright. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh boy! She is out. See, this is what happens when you have a friend that actually knows what he's doing <laughs> on your car. Stuff gets done. I think I'd have been here about 10 hours just trying to work out how to get them bolts out. I know, oh actually, I better tell people. Uh, I did call up Dan Joyce, my friend Dan Joyce, I miss him, and uh, said, how do we get these bolts out? And then him and Lewis had already worked out at the same time how to do it. So, much appreciated, it's good to have a little chat. Now, I guess it's just putting the new one in, is it? Mm-hmm. making sure you lie the two side by side and move everything across, like there's a couple of fittings. Mm -hmm. We'll fit in these moving across. We'll clean up this with a wire brush. Mm -hmm. Move the bush over as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. The other one's still under the car, so there's one bush there and the other one goes around there. Okay, cool. But yeah. Sweet. We'll dress it on the floor, makes it a lot easier. And then we should have no more leaky steering yeah, rack. This, this end, it was this end here. Yeah. Passenger side was like, as soon as I took the boot off, it's just full. We're really looking at next year, for, for me anyway, you're going to Matsuri next weekend. So if anybody's going to Matsuri, check out Lewis. You're going to be in the Corolla? Yeah. Yep, A86 you'll, you'll Corolla. You'll see me, I'll be in the gravel. <laughs> 
Um, hopefully next year I'll be able to go get my, way more seat time and actually start putting down some good, good fun lines. And it should be it should be really cool. I'm really looking forward to getting back out driving. But in the meantime, because this isn't going to be out over winter, that is now all of my parts are actually on the way for this. So we'll try and do a huge big weekend of just getting this thing completely ready for a Santa Pod day. And we'll go book on straight away as soon as the car works, moves out the garage on its own, um, has the lock kit fitted, the seat in, steering wheel, all the rest of it. It won't have a handbrake, it won't have a hydro handbrake. We're gonna be doing no hydros in this. Really gonna be putting myself back to basics to get rid of some of my bad habits and uh, just go and have some fun in this, in this little car. So yeah, can't wait, can't wait. In this box is the, the final piece of the puzzle, really. This is the part that's been giving me all of the issues over the last six months with the, with, since we've had the head rebuilt. This should be it. I'm so nervous. I really hope this works because I don't know how much more I've got in me <laughs> to with this, but it should all be good. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's open it up and have a look. Ta-da! So this is S15 bracket, S15 wall before fuel pump, and then a clean bag. So hopefully this should be a straight in and out jobby. Then we should never have any more fueling problems, issues, misfires, until the next thing goes wrong. Sick. Well out, which is totally fucked now. Take <sighs> car. Oh no, I'm getting tapped by a dog. <laughs> Finishing up under there, boy. Yeah. Wheels back on time, boy. Yeah, we've got yeah. to put one zippy on. Lovely job. So, one of the beautiful things about the Nissan compared to the E36, wheel studs. I will, one day, if I get aftermarket wheels for the E36, check convert it to studs again, but I really like those BBSs on it, so we're gonna leave them for now, I think. Dude. Lovely, right. Fuel pump. Fuel pump. Yeah. We've had a casualty. We've had a casualty. Lewis broke it. Just there. But we're trying to find another one so we can get this all done today. But yeah. No drama. These are brittle old plastic things. Bound to happen at some point. But there's the old pump. The uh, That's a good Wolver too. So we're going to keep hold of that as a spec. And then the new one is in there with him, sliding it in. I couldn't work out how it goes in. I did, I did have a look. Okay, R34 GTR, the closest I'll ever get to owning one. It's right there. Okay, so what we're doing is just chucking that back on. We've got the pump in there now, but nothing attached up. I just didn't want the stink of fuel, and then I spilled a lot of petrol on the floor. So that was great. Let's get some food now, Lou. Just got back from Halfords. Mr. Tom Wright's here. Tom under... No, bad time, Tom. <laughs> it's got the... Uh, Pass steering fluid, top that up, then that is job done until I can get that replacement petrol tank cap, which is a little bit annoying, but it's just one of those things. And then I'm gonna spend the afternoon painting the cage, I think, just to get that done. But there's no rush, there's no rush on the cage. I'd rather get the E36 in and raise it up, but we'll see, we'll see what happens, one or the other. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, so that's that for the Sylvia that's maintenance stuff that's today. So that's now, that's, <laughs> that's that done. <laughs> it now doesn't work again. <laughs> what was that? My keys. His keys are on his wing and he's going to cry about the paint in a second. But yeah, okay, next thing. Uh, I can either paint the roll cage, which I can't really ask to do, rather do BMW. <laughs> BMW? What's on the BMW? Raise it. We're going to love you and leave you for today on the Sylvia. Hope you've enjoyed watching us work on it again uh, and breaking it again, but it's all good fun. Uh, it's a simple little thing, we'll change and then it is all good. So next time you see me, should be painting the cage on it. Uh, well, next time you see this car, we'll be painting the cage on it, then putting all the interior back in and then hopefully taking it for a rip. Plenty more stuff coming, hopefully you'll subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Uh, really, really appreciate you guys spending some of your precious minutes of your day with me and my friends today down in the garage. So from me, from Finn, see you in the next video. Peace.